Hi, my name is Taylor, and in this video we're going to be putting together this custom display for my Porsche 944. The purpose of this device is to display a rear view camera and have a engine RPM shift light uh, that will flash at me whenever it's time to shift on autocross events. To accomplish this, we're going to use two off-the-shelf products and this 3D printed case. In the last video, we went over how to assemble the chipper nut shift light. Uh, this will be powering the LEDs and letting me know when to shift. And to take care of the backup camera section, I have disassembled an AutoVox 4-inch off-the-shelf backup camera system. A couple of modifications that I've made aside from disassembling it, I have replaced the little plastic connector with a 3-pin Mini XLR. The Mini XLR comes with a panel mount variant, so I can have it integrated directly into the back of the display. The 3D printed housing was modeled by Pascal Martin and was available on Thingiverse. It was originally designed for simulator racing. You'd use some software that would put the dashboard of the vehicle that you're driving in game onto this. So I've downloaded his file and I have made some modifications to add my connector block and a way to mount the screen that wasn't originally intended for the enclosure. I'll be uploading my files to Thingiverse as well as a remix on this design and I will provide links in the description. So I've already worked out the mounting for the backup camera screen. Um, I'll disassemble it here on camera so you can see how I've put it together. But uh, the next step for me is to solder in all 16 LEDs and uh, the associated connectors. Unfortunately, because this was designed for a different style of LED, the LED spacing here does not match the pitch of the LED strip. So I'll actually have to cut each LED out and solder it with hookup wire uh, with it glued into each position. It's probably going to be a little bit tedious, but shouldn't be that bad. The last thing that I had to design and 3D print was this connector box that will attach to the project box that comes with the chipper nut shift light system. This allows me to have removable connectors for all the wiring rather than having just bare wire coming out to be uh, spliced into the vehicle. The type of connectors I'm using are more of these three pin mini XLR connectors. And for the LEDs, I'm using this connector, which is a four pin push pull connector, which is a clone of a Limo. The reason it needs to be a four pin is the LEDs require positive voltage ground data and a clock signal. So that's how I'll be connecting those up. Should be a nice project for the evening. Time to heat up that soldering iron and get to work. Okay, I'm gonna start by wiring up this connector panel and assembling it with the chipper nut control module. Now we have the ability to hook up to these external connectors for the control box of the shift light. The connectors are panel mounted right there with clear labels embossed directly into the 3D printed part.
There we go, now we have the wiring all sorted for the control box side. So now let's take apart the monitor housing and start soldering LEDs up. To make this 3D printed frame except the backup camera monitor, I had to 3D print a little piece of plastic to glue in here to prop up the monitor to the correct height. And I had to print these little tabs to hold the four corners of the monitor down. As I said, my STL files will be listed as a remix, the original Thingiverse listing. One thing that wasn't clear to me from the file is how these rib nuts get installed. So first off, it doesn't say what size rib nuts you need. It's an M3 rib nut. I went with aluminum, and the way that they're installed is you press them into place using your soldering iron to heat it up and melt it into the plastic. That melts the spacer file into the main front housing. If I were to go through the effort of remodeling this, I probably would have made that one piece because I have some alignment issues, but overall it's not a big deal. Now it's time for me to go through the tedious process of gluing and soldering in all 16 LEDs. To wire up these LEDs, I'll be using some solid core 22 gauge hookup wire, bridging from LED to LED, and I'll be using stranded 22 gauge wire to go between the first LED and the back panel connector. To hold the LEDs down, I'll be using a gel style super glue. Okay, all 16 LEDs are now glued into place, and now it is time to solder 64 individual jumpers across the 128 individual solder pads. This might take a little while. Half of the LEDs are wired together. This is way more tedious than I thought it was going to be.
there we go. That's all wired up. Now I just need to get the connector on the other end. There we go. Now let's plug it in, bench test it, and in the next video we'll install it in the car. So there we have it, I finished assembling my 944's custom display. It turned out even better than I thought it would. Now that it's tested and working, I'm going to open it back up and hot glue over all of those LED connections just to make it hopefully a little bit more robust and keep anything from getting in there and shorting out those connections. Links will be in the description showing the supplies that I used to make this project. Thank you to Pascal Martin for the 3D model of the display. And thank you to John at Chippernut for developing the shift light. I've been following the Chipper Nut Shift Light project since version 2 came out six years ago, so I'm glad to finally get my hands on the hardware and get to try it out. Links to the supplies that I used in this project will be in the description. If you've enjoyed this video and can't wait to see this in the car, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.